you can see on my screen we have a virtual machine inside of the virtual box on the Linux uh, which is called Ubuntu server okay so if we go to the settings it is very important here to check the first adapter and choose uh, choose like a Bridget adapter this is the settings okay the same we're gonna have on the machine which holds another Linux system installed already and we're gonna uh, take an image of this system network is the same Bridget adapter here is the settings okay so we're gonna start the server I'm gonna pause for a moment before it boots up okay okay and the server is running now here you go okay and I'm inside of my server so if I go to nano etc net plan here is my configuration file for my net plan let's take a look which is important here is my render network D my Ethernet card ENP 0F3 DHCP false my address my gateway okay and what is important you have to add a VLAN with settings which apply to your network of course but without this portion over here for some reason uh, the clonezilla server will not be able to um, how to tell you to deploy okay or uh, take an image uh, or inst uh, uh, um, use this configuration properly so we're gonna close this file after that uh, you do net plan apply to apply the settings and after that you do system ctl restart system d network d okay so if we type if config, if config this is what we have our network card with the settings and uh, our virtual interface which pretty have much the same settings but these settings and this virtual interface is needed for clonezilla server to act as a dhcp server for the client machines which are going to boot with help of pixie okay so let's go and start uh, configure our clonezilla server we have to type grbl um, push space dash i enter okay uh, for simplicity i'm gonna just skip everything and press enter and use defaults default 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 here yeah, i have to choose a network interface which is when port which is connected to the van which is internet so I use the default one which is my real network card bridge it actually from virtual machine to the real network card press enter uh, it's asking me if I want to collect MAC addresses of the clients no I don't so keep pressing enter um, no I don't initial number okay so my router gives a pool of IP addresses which start from 192.168.0.100 and up to 254 so I'm gonna 
enter 100 which is a last digit in IP address and how many number of clients will be well I'm gonna choose which is default right now 10 okay accept yes here is our setup which is a when and which is a going to be our spool of IP addresses which gonna boot from Pixie have to press enter okay uh, here we have to choose default which is works the best for me okay so full clonezilla again uh, partition where are gonna be stored uh, the images so default is home partition direct part images directory press enter um, swap yes 100 meter megabyte plane to yes graphic mode yes normal login to asking for the password yes uh, set up root password no password yes we're gonna set it up just in case some other machines are running on same network and you don't want to accidentally override the disk so it's better first confirm as a password we actually wanted to boot from pixie yes uh, yes yes well actually no uh, no uh, do you want uh, grbl server as net server uh, well actually we choose no do you want to keep the old settings no okay we have to press enter again okay now we're ready to deploy file system yes okay it's gonna do its configuration both, uh, based on what we typed in here once it's finished we will continue so right now i'm just gonna pause the video thank you okay so configuration of the server drbl has been done and what i'm gonna show you is a dhcpd.conf file on the server ubuntu server which uh, i'm logged in right now and uh, let's do etc uh, dhcp dhcpd .conf. and what is important um, here is a pool of addresses in the range from 100 to 102 which is actually uh, oh, I'm sorry 110 which is actually uh, 11 machines so uh, our router uh, when our virtual machine client start booting up will get an IP address from the HCP server which is our router in my system actually and uh, the, the IP address which he is going to uh, get should be in this range otherwise when this client machine will try pixie boot and uh, uh, get access to our grpl server clonezilla uh, uh, it's gonna be denied by server and you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna do anything after that you're gonna get an error so make sure once you pixie boot your client machine in virtual box it's gonna get a ip address uh, and it's gonna be in the range of these IP addresses otherwise mm, not gonna work so now we have to start actually clonezilla server with a common DCS clonezilla start boom I'm gonna just choose defaults all client all client machines yes beginner mode save disk we're gonna clone the disk uh, uh, we're gonna uh, input image and device name yes image name ubuntu desktop okay disk sda uh, this is our actual disk on virtual machine of uh, ubuntu 
client. Uh, skip checking the yes again skip checking the image uh, what to do after where everything is done just power off the machine here we have just uh, leave the default and now we press enter again okay now it's ready and service drbl is running so now we have to go to our ubuntu desktop I'm just gonna start it to show you that there is actually a Linux desktop system 20.04.1 Okay, I'm gonna pause for a moment. No, actually I'm not gonna pause. Let's just wait. Okay, it's loading. Loading. So once it started, I'm gonna show you the IP address of this machine. Mm. Okay. Remember, this virtual machine also has a bridged network to our physical network interface. So it's actually uh, pulling the IP address from my router in the range of 192.168.0.100 and up to 254. Okay, let's see. It's a little bit slow. Okay, let's start the terminal. And we type if config. So as you can see, it just pull an address of 192.168.0.103. So remember I was showing you the uh, range of this IP addresses. So we need to make sure when we pick the boot it's gonna be inside of this range, otherwise not gonna work. So we reboot the machine and after that we try to boot from network card, right? So we have I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We have to actually power it off. Okay, fully power it off. Start again, press F12 to choose the option LAN boot L okay it starts in booting from the network okay we see it's got uh, an address 103 again and now we see our clonezilla server with our menu which we are creating before Ubuntu desktop so we choose this in the process of uh, taking an image of this machine uh, password okay okay the process started it's gonna connect to our DRBL server which is clonezilla it's gonna mount all necessary uh, file system to copy okay here's our folder uh, home part image it's quite a long process uh, I have right now a disk of 10 gigabytes so I'm gonna take around six to eight minutes to actually take a snapshot of this uh, uh, disk Okay, so we can see the process almost done and it's finishing and I'm gonna show you it's gonna complete successfully. You see, successfully clone the device. Okay, this is the end of the process. finished.